Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see question number 9 and 10 of exercise 13.1, chapter Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. So, let's start our video. See the question number 9 of exercise 13.1, chapter Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. Question is given, a 5 meter 60 centimeter, 5 meter 60 centimeter hard vertical pole cast the shadow of 3 meter 20 centimeter long. Find at the same time the length of the shadow cast by another pole of height 10 meter 50 centimeter and height of pole which cast the shadow of 5 meter long. See here a pole. See here we will I will draw a simple sketch. This pole. If this is a pole, it casts a shadow. This shadow is there of this pole. If it is higher 5 meter 60 centimeter. Its shadow is of 3 meter. This is the shadow. Isn't it? Now, if this is the shadow, we have to find the length of shadow of the another pole at the same time. See here, this word is very important, same time. Because as time passes, there will be no direct proportion. Here, we are using direct proportion and for direct proportion we know if x and y are two variables two variables are said to be in direct proportion only if ratio of different values of x to the different value of y at different stages is always constant means x1 upon y1 is equal to x2 upon y2 that is k here what is x we will consider x as a actual height of pole and y as a length of shadow so i will write here table actual actual height actual height of pole and shadow length shadow length see here actual height of pole is given 5 meter 60 centimeter now see here 1 meter, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So, 5 meter will be 500 centimeter. So, 5 meter will be 500 meter and there are 60 centimeter plus. So, total height of this pole will be 500 plus 60. So, I will write here 560 centimeter. Isn't it? It is nothing but 5 meter and 60 centimeter that shadow of this pole is 3 meter 20 centimeter 3 meter means 300 centimeter plus this 20 means 320 centimeter isn't it this is the actual height of pole and this is the shadow length now what is asked length of shadow cast by the another pole of 10 meter 10 meter means see here 10 meter is equal to 1000 centimeter and this 50 centimeter we have to add so it will be 1050 centimeter isn't it it is nothing but 10 meter and 50 centimeter and we have to calculate the shadow of this pole and what is next height of a pole which cast the shadow of 5 meter 5 meter means that will be the 500 centimeter isn't it so here I will write here 500 centimeter and we have to calculate the actual height of that pole. So this is the table. <coughs> we have considered this as a x and as a y. So it will be the x1, x2, x3 that will be the y1, y2 and y3. So we will put the equation using the direct proportion. For direct proportion we know x1 upon y1 that is equal to x2 upon y2. To find this first answer we know the value of x1 and y1. x1 is 560 isn't it? So I will write here 560 and y1 is 320. 320. Now see here is equal to x2 is 1050 and we have to find this y2. y2. So just take the cross multiplication. We will get 
560 into y2 that is equal to 320 into 1050 isn't it so that will be equal to just transfer this 560 here we will get y2 is equal to 320 into 1050 divided by this 560 so i will write here y2 is equal to this 320 320 into 1050 divided by 560 then this zero and this zero will get cancel then 8 for the 32 8 7 56 then again 7 on the 7 7 on the 7 7 3 remaining 7 5 the 35 This zero as it is. Four into one fifty. Y two is equal to four into one fifty. So y two is equal to four into fifty. That is six hundred centimeter. Because we have considered all these six all in centimeters. So y two answer will be y two is equal to six hundred centimeter means is equal to six meter. So this is will be our first answer. That is this pole, which pole length of the shadow cast. By the another pole is this is the length of shadow, length of shadow cast by the pole which height is ten meter and fifty centimeter. So this is our first answer. Now see the next one. Now see the this second sub question. The height of pole which cast a shadow five meter means this x three we have to calculate. We know x one upon x two. X one upon y one that is equal to x three upon y three because this is a direct proportion which constant this ratio is always constant. Now here x one is we know x one is five sixty and y one is three twenty. That will be equal to x three we have to calculate. We have to calculate the actual height of that pole which cast the shadow of five hundred centimeter. So this is our table equation. Just put the equation. Take the cross multiplication. We will get 560 into 500. That will equal to 320 into x3. Isn't it? So transfer this 320 here. We will get 560 into 500 divided by 320. That we call to x3. So This zero and the zero will get cancelled. Eight for the thirty-two, eight seven the fifty-six. Again four one the four, four one the four, four two the twenty, no four 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 two the eight and four five the twenty. So seven into so x three equal to. Seven into one twenty-five. Take the multiplication. Seven five the seven five the thirty-five. Seven to the fourteen. Fourteen plus three seventeen and seven on the one and one eight plus one eight. So we got x three as eight seventy-five centimeter, which is nothing but x three equal to. If we convert in meter, it will be eight meter and seventy-five. Centimeter. So this will be the actual length. This will be the actual length of pole whose shadow cost 500, whose shadow is 500 centimeter long. So this is our second sub answer. See the question number 10 of exercise 13.1, chapter direct and inverse proportion, class 8 mathematics. Question is given: A loaded truck travels 14 kilometer in 25 minutes. If the speed remains the same, how far can it travel in five hours? So again, see here, it is a direct proportion example. If the distance increases, see here, if the speed remains constant, this is very important word. If the speed remains constant, then this example is of a direct proportion. If the speed is same, so if time increases, so if time increases, distance also. increases so this is a simple example of direct proportion 
direct proportion we know if x and y are two variables both are said to be in direct proportion only if ratio of different values of x to to the different values of y is constant this ratio as k so we will put a table and put the values to solve this problem so how to put table we will put in column the distance traveled distance travel by the loaded truck as x distance i will write here distance travel in kilometer and here required time required time in minutes isn't it so what is given it travels 14 kilometer so here i will write here 14 kilometer and time required is 25 25 minutes see here i have written here minutes 25 minutes what is asked if the speed remains constant how far it can travel in 5 hours means here time is given in 5 hours so to convert in our minutes so we must multiply it by 60 5 into 60 that will be the minutes isn't it because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so multiply it by 60 we will get in minutes so this is the time and we have to calculate the distance traveled x so let it be x1 x2 y1 y2 because we have considered this as x and as y so for this direct proportion we know the equation x1 upon y1 that is equal to x2 upon y2 because the ratio remains same for different values of x to the corresponding different value of y so put the x1 and y1 here x1 is 14 y1 is 25 so put these values x1 as a 14 and y1 as 25 so that will be equal to x2 we have to calculate means we have to calculate the distance travel that will be in kilometer divided by what is the time y2 is 5 into 60 5 is hour but we have considered in minutes so 5 into 60 that will be minutes so just take the cross multiplication we will get the equation 14 into 5 into 60 that will be equal to x2 into this 25 so transfer this 25 here we will get 14 into 5 into 60 divided by 25 that will be equal to x2 so here see here it is not necessary to multiply take the multiplication of 5 into 60 because here it becomes easy for simplification see here 5 on the 5 5 5 5 is the 25 then 5 on the 5 5 12 the 60 so 14 into 12 that will be equal to x2 x2 equal to 14 into 12 14 into 12 14 to the 28 and 14 on the 14 plus 2 60 so 160 and that will be unit will be kilometer because the distance is in kilometer so we got the answer as x to as a 168 kilometer this is our answer means how far can it travel so it will travel 168 kilometer in 5 hours because it travels 14 kilometer in 25 minutes so it will travel 168 km in 5 hours because speed is same this is very important word then only we can consider as a it as a direct proportion example this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you